Number 41, use the definition of scalar product A dot B is equal to the magnitude of A times the magnitude of B times the cosine of the angle and the fact that the dot product between A and B is equal to the X component of A times the X component of B plus the Y component of, component of A times the Y component of B plus the Z component of A times the Z component of B to calculate the angle between the two vectors given by vector A is equal to 3 in the I direction plus 3 in the J direction plus 3 in the K direction and vector B is equal to 2 in the I direction plus 1 in the J direction plus 3 in the K direction. So we want to use this property over here A dot B is equal to the magnitude of A, the magnitude of B times the cosine of the angle so we can isolate the cosine so the cosine of the angle is A dot B over the magnitude of A times the magnitude of B so the angle is the cosine to the minus 1 of A dot B over the magnitude of A times the magnitude of B. So this is the equation that we are going to use. So all we have to do is, is to calculate the magnitude of A, magnitude of B and the dot product between A and B. So the dot product between A and B is equal to, let's, let me do it really slowly paced, so it is 3 in the I direction plus 3 in the J direction plus 3 in the k direction and vector b is equal to 2 in the i direction plus 1 in the j direction plus 3 in the k direction so if you want to do the dot product would you just multiply each color or each component and then sum everything up so in this case it would be 3 times 2 plus 3 times 1 plus 3 times 3 and this gives us 6 plus 3 plus 9 which is equal to 18 so this is the answer of a uh, a dot b so now we have to calculate the magnitude of the vectors so the magnitude of the vectors are calculated this way so the magnitude of a is just the square root of each component squared so 3 squared plus 3 is squared plus 3 is squared which gives us roughly 5.2 and the magnitude of vector b is equal to the square root of 2 is squared plus 1 is squared plus 3 is squared which gives us roughly 3.74 okay now we can use that equation over there so the angle is equal to the cosine to the minus 1 of 18 over 5.2 times 3.74 and this gives us roughly let's see 22 degrees that's it that's the angle 22 degrees